Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to the finale of God of War Blind for the PlayStation 2 and last episode. We had the most anticlimactic uh, episode I've ever filmed of any Let's Play. In this episode, I have not been practicing off screen, so, and hopefully that will show. And uh, hopefully the whatever happened in the last episode was complete uh, just happenstance and it won't happen again. That would really be unfortunate if that was some sort of... Uh, some sort of persisting problem with the disc, uh, knock on wood, hang on, let me just, I'll knock on wood in between fights, because I get my ass handed to me, this fight is tough, I won't lie, I actually just watched video of a certain let's play that made this fight look like cake, honestly, and I realize what I'm doing wrong it's just I don't know how to correct it because whenever whenever the game like hesitates and like we're in the middle of a sword fight and the game kind of hesitates and then he goes into his combos and crap I realize that there's a certain way and I don't know how but there's a certain way to like get him into that little just do just kill me please just kill me there's a certain way to get Ares locked into that, uh, into that, like, sword fight, just press circle as quickly as you can, little mode, and, uh, you do that two or three times and you've got him dead to rights. Thing is, I don't know how to get him into said mode, so, I mean, we shall see. The, the blocking in this fight is just stupid dumb hard. And, uh, I mean, my, my typical fighting game strategy of jump up into the air and ask questions later is not going to suffice in this situation. Now, when he comes up here, you can take advantage of his, his uh, vulnerable state with your quick attacks. The attacks work the same as they do with the Blades of Chaos. As in, you have a, a heavy attack and a quick attack, and you also have the circle button, which I'm thinking... Uh, see, there was the prompt right there. I just don't know how to put it into my favor, if you will. You know what I mean? I don't know how to... I'm dead again. I don't know how to engage that little fight to where I can take advantage of it. And I'm assuming... Whoa, camera angle. I'm assuming... Uh, you can't win the fight without doing that at least a couple times. Because that's what does the most damage to him out of anything. Any of your attacks or combos. Come here, bro. So, you know, I guess we'll just have to keep going until we beat it. And considering this is the last bit of gameplay in the game... No cuts, just me and my commentary, and you guys watching me get my ass repeatedly handed to me. How does that make you feel, guys? It's just, just, just you and I, you and I alone, no one else. See all the other views on this video? They're not here. See, I don't even, I can't even, I don't even, and I don't want to even. I would assume the most logical button to hit would be circle. Because that's the button. Look at all the little people on the bridge. Never noticed that detail till just now. Uh, the little, the circle button is the one button to press uh, whenever you get into that little jousting back and forth thing with him. Just kill me, please. So I would assume circle. Oh, there it is. How did I do that? Was I hitting? I think I was hitting square when I did that. See, watch. Now I'm going to do this whole big old combo. And I'm going to get most of my, or not most of, but a significant amount of, of life back. Oh, God dang it. I tried rolling out of the way. Did not work. All right, so instead of the heavy attack, I'm just going to go with the, the quick attack. Because I feel like that's what engages the little fight. I just got to stay on my toes and make sure I'm... Oh, don't do that, Kratos. Stop it. All right, nice, Kratos. She screwed me up. I, the camera angle sucks, too. Dude, put me in front of him. Can you show me? Thank you. Only after I rolled out of the way. Fucking kill me, please. For the love of Ares. 
See? Oh, there it is. That is how you do it. You just keep mashing square. Just like you would with a normal attack. Alright, so that is my plan of attack from now on. It's mash square for days. He's gonna come back up here. Wail on him a bit. Roll out of the way. Didn't work. That's alright. And then block when you need to. I need to... I think the key is to keep attacking him once he's blocking because then we'll get caught in that little animation please kill me thank you alright one more time one more time I want to celebrate oh yeah alright don't stop the dancing fuck blocking blocking is for pussies we established this episode one and by the by everything I stand for I will not win this fight by blocking I refuse to block. Come here, bro. Alright, there it is. Oh, wait, no. Alright, I I got the prompt. I just missed it. I want some ice cream. It's 5 in the morning. Please kill me. Thank you. Retry. I wish there was a pause and retry option, but whenever you pause, it just goes into the whole menu, but it shows that you have no magic or anything. Roll, roll. Ah, oh, damn. Did I roll out of it? I might have. Damn, that is like an unavoidable combo. It's kind of stupid. Oh, there it is. All right, just keep pressing square whenever you get into that animation. And then you got to be on your toes to be fast enough to switch over to circle. In one of the fights in the last episode, I had him pretty low. I almost had him. There we go. Got out of that. All right, mash, 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 potatoes. Uh-oh, wrong attack. Uh, there we go. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Block, block, block. All right. Okay, so I've fought him enough to where I can memorize some of his combos there. There it is, here it is, here it is. I win. Yes, I won. I think I won. I'm pretty sure that's it, guys. That's... Yep, I won! <clears throat> Remember, Kratos. It was I who saved you in your time of greatest need. I haven't forgotten, Ares. I remember how you saved me. That night... I was trying to make you a great warrior. You succeeded. <laughs> Kratos had done me impossible. A mortal defeating a god. Ares was no more. The city had been saved and would thrive again. The same could not be said for Kratos, for as he sought to rebuild his soul with the help of the gods, the truth was revealed to him. Athena, rid me of the memories that haunt me still. You have done well, Kratos. Though we mourn the death of our brother, the gods are indebted to you. We promised your sins would be forgiven, and so they are, but we never promised to take away your nightmares. No man, no god could ever forget the terrible deeds you have done. In the end, knowing the visions of his past would never leave him, Kratos made his way to the bluffs overlooking the Aegean Sea. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. 
After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. The fate of Kratos was not as it seemed. The gods had other plans. Born aloft like a feather, Kratos found himself risen from the sea and placed on solid earth. You will not die this day, Kratos. The gods cannot allow one who has performed such service to perish by his own hand. Ares' tactics were brutal. His path of destruction had to be stopped. But now there is an empty throne in Olympus, and a new god of war is needed. Take these stairs, Kratos. They lead to your ultimate reward. No shit. Oh, I've acquired Athena's blades. Look at that. They're all golden and shiny. So this is what this was for. Your battles are at an end, Kratos. Huh. All right. Neat. So I get to go be a god. Oh, I'm on Mount Olympus. <gasps> Look. All right, so I don't think it's this statue. I think it's these two statues here. No, on the edges. No, maybe not. I was about to say, I was about to get pissed if he just killed himself. We did all that work just for him to kill himself. Oh, it's these two statues here. All right, hang on. Before we do anything, I want to go ahead and upgrade everything for the hundred millionth time. And I'll go ahead and fast forward through this right about now. All right, so I was able to fully upgrade everything except for Medusa's gaze, which in all honesty, I don't give a shit about. And I wanted to go ahead and do this just to spend all my souls. But I think the most interesting thing is, and I know this because I've seen things, uh, you are finally free of your servitude to this insane war god. You gaze upon the bones of your defeated foe. Oh, they actually brought the thing to you? I know that you can destroy these two statues. It takes like a hell of a long time. But if you do, on the inscriptions of them, there's like a phone number that you can actually call. And it's like an Easter egg. And the game's developer, I think, has like a, a conversation with the guy who plays the voice of Kratos. And uh, Kratos like calls him uh, inferior or whatever and like threatens to kill him. It's actually pretty interesting. Never done it, but I think I've seen it at, May at one point in time. But uh, if you didn't notice, the last Olympus, the last two saves were the f uh, final battle. So that being said, I'm assuming all I need to do is just hop, pop a squad up on this uh, chair and end the game. This is the throne of the god of war. Take your rightful place upon it. Press R2 to pop a squad. Got it. Awesome. And from that point forward, through our best of time, whenever men rode forth to battle for good cause or for evil, they did so under the watchful eye of the man who had defeated a god. They were driven forward by Kratos, the mortal who had become the new god of war. Congratulations, you have conquered God of War. Thank you, game. How often do you see that a game thanking you and congratulating you? That's neat. Now attempt God mode. Nah, I'm good, man. I'm all right. You completed God mode or God of War. Treasures of Olympus have been unlocked. God mode has been unlocked. Would you like to save? If they offer you the opportunity to save, 
at the end of the game, then why would they give you a save point in Olympus? What is that? Different screenshots? Are those actually... Those aren't mine. They can't be mine. Those are just like playtesters or something. Yeah, alright. Alright, so that is the end of God of War. Um, there's a guy named Scat. And Yumi Yang. There's a guy named Yumi Yang. And I have to admit, I really enjoyed this game. I would give it about a 4 out of 5. It was really, really good. Um, and there's nothing nothing bad that I can say about it, honestly. There was nothing that stood out to me as, you know, annoying or bad, per se. It was all around a very solid game. I'd probably give it a 5 out of 5, personally, if it weren't for the fact that it was just so old. And by old, I don't mean that old games can't be good. I, I guess I mean... It was very early, and it's, you know, it's it's very successful uh, series of games. And I guarantee you that once they, you know, proceeded in other games, they just got better and better, and they added more stuff to it. Because this game was a very long game, and it was very, uh, you know, it was very fleshed out for a game that didn't have a lot of stuff to it. Because there was only, like, what, four magic spells? And one extra weapon? I mean, you know, it, it's not to say that's bad, it's just that it, you know, there could have been a lot more in my opinion. I'm an RPG guy, so, you know, the more little details and upgradable things, the better in my opinion. So, you know, yeah, I think in that aspect they could have had a, a little bit more, uh, you know, a little tiny bit more substance to it. But, I mean, other than that, holy crap, the story was great. Linda Hunt, there you go, the narrator. That was PC Carson did Kratos. Steve Blum did Ares. Interesting. The The story was absolutely amazing. I love that little cutscene at the end there, too, whenever they showed, like, World War II, B-2 bombers and stuff, like, futuristic, in, in this game, sense things to where, you know, it was like no matter what happened in the future, you know, Kratos... They really drove that point home really well. I'm assuming that all these little, all these little scenes are going to turn into like his body or his face or something. Looks like legs, I think maybe they're all like death screens, so they're turning red. I, I assume that's what they're going to turn into. But yeah, this game was great. This game was really, really good. I'm happy I picked it up for like five bucks. It was awesome for such a. a a discounted little game, and I'm happy I'm done with the Let's Play. Yeah, that's his head to the right right there. And uh, when it comes to the other games, I'm completely open to doing them, just not anytime soon. A, because this game has... I just powered through the end of this for the most point, just to get it done over my little break. And number two, I don't have any of the other games. But if I did, I would definitely do them at some point, because this game was great, and I'm assuming it just gets better and better from here. And it's, I don't ever really say this, but it'll be interesting to see where the story goes, you know, what the Kratos will return. Set yourself up for a sequel game, but what? That's the question. I don't know what the game's going to be, because it's, you know, it's, uh, I mean, you killed Kratos, you killed the God of War, you're, you're done. Now... Treasures. All right. The making of God of War. God of War trailers. Credits. Deleted levels. Heroic possibilities. Visions of ancient Greece. Monsters of myth. Birth of the beast. God mode. Character graveyard. Challenge of the gods. In-game movies. Huh, and then there's other stuff when you beat God Mode. Interesting. Oh, you get the additional costumes. I saw that, where he turns into, like, a milkman and stuff. Um, I'm kind this of is, interested in seeing the of, uh, things that deleted... You oh, it's a video. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right, so, hello, Kratos. Thank you so much for watching. This game was absolutely fantastic. And until God of War 2, I'm Broken Champion. We're done here.